Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome to our Tiddy Tot session. It's Anna and I doing it today. And before we have our story, we have a very fun activity for you to go and do with your grown-ups or your family at home. Because in our story today, we're thinking about the number three. Can you do three wiggly fingers? One, two, three, four, five. One side caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. And we're thinking about the number three. So what I've done, I've written on a, a piece of paper. One two, three, and we're going to go on a little bit of a treasure hunt trying to find threes of things around the house. Anna, will you go and see if you can find me three pieces of fruit? What have we got? We have one, two, three apples. Anna, can you go and find me three crayons? Can we find three crayons around the house? Oh, Anna's found one, two, three. How about three Lego figures? Have we got three Lego figures in the house? We love Lego in our house. We have lots of Lego. Let's have a look, Anna. Have you found them? One, two, three. Three things. Oh, and where else? Why might we see the number three? What, what can we see three? There's one more thing we've missed. Oh, what's that? That is Teddy. Oh, three cuddly toys. Three of Anna's cuddly toys. Let's find those. And while Anna's looking, can you think of places where you might see the number three in your house? I'm thinking, oh, there's one, two, three. So we have three cuddly toys, three apples, Three Lego figures and three crayons. One, two, three. And you might see the number three on a clock on the wall. You might see the number three. Um, where else might you see it written? On your birthday cards, you might birthday be three. Birthday cards, you might be three. Have a look around the house. Find three of one item and find the number three written and show it to your grown-up because we're all about number three today. Right, let's clear the deck so we can do our story. What do we do first before we tell our story, Anna? We welcome. Okay, so who are we going to welcome first, boys or girls? Shall we welcome the boys? Let's do the boys. Are we ready? Where are the boys? Where are the boys? Did they come? Did they come? Come to Tiddly Tot. Come to Tiddly Tot. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And how do we work on the boys? What are we going to do today, Anna? Anna's having a good think about it. Should we do roaring dinosaurs? We haven't done that for a while. Welcome, boys. Who do we have them next? Girls. Let's do the girls. Where are the girls? Where are the girls? Did they come? Did they come? Come to Tiddly Tot. Come to Tiddly Tot. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And how are we going to welcome the girls, Anna? Oh, she's up. She's skipping around. Can you skip around, girls? Welcome. Welcome to our story this morning. Now, we are continuing with the Easter story that we looked at from last week. But before we tell the story, what do we always do? We sing our Bible song. I open my Bible and what do I see? Words that tell me that God made me. I open my Bible and what do I see? Words that tell me that God loves me. Now, last time we met in our story, Jesus had cooked his friends breakfast and he met them on the beach. He got them to fish for lots of fish and they found it. Now, Jesus wanted to chat 
with one of his special friends. Can you put Jesus in the picture for me, Anna? And his friend was called Peter. I want to take you back to before Jesus died on the cross because when Jesus and his friends were sharing a meal before he died on the cross, he said to Peter, before the sun rises tomorrow morning, you will say three times that you are not my friend. And Peter said, Jesus, I'll never say that. I'll always be your friend. But when Jesus was arrested and taken away by the guards, three people asked Peter, aren't you a friend of that man who's just been arrested? Aren't you a friend of that Jesus? And Peter said, no, no, I'm not a friend of that man. I'm not a friend. And when the sun came up in the morning, Peter put his head in his hands because he realised He'd done exactly what Jesus said he would do. He said, I'm not your friend, three times. And he was heartbroken. Fast forward, we're here. Jesus has risen from the dead and he's with his friends and he's sharing and teaching with them. And he's just made them breakfast and he has a quick word with Peter. And he says to Peter, Peter, do you love me? And Peter says, Yes. yes. Jesus says again, Peter, a second time, do you love me? Yes. Third time, Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, I love you. And then Jesus says, I have a job for you. I need you to tell people about me and share the love of God with everybody. And it was as if for the three times that Peter said, no, I'm not your friend. After Jesus had risen from the dead, he asked Peter three times, do you love me? To make it right, to forgive Peter for not being his friend, for denying that he was his friend and to give him a new chance. And when we say sorry to God and we tell him that we love him, he forgives us for all the things that we do wrong. And it's wonderful that God then gives us a job to do, just like Peter, to tell people about Jesus and to share God's love. Aren't we so fortunate that we can be forgiven and we can also be free to serve God and love him? And that's what's really exciting about this story. Three times Peter made a mistake and three times Jesus forgave him and said, it doesn't matter now because you love me and I have work for you to do. Should we do a prayer song? We put one little hand over one little eye, the other little hand on the other little eye. Bow our little heads and say a little prayer. Talk to God. And we say thank you, God, for this story. Thank you that you forgive us. And you give us work to do to serve you and help us to love you, even in these difficult times. Amen. Amen. Right, it's just time now for us to say goodbye. So we're going to do our goodbye song. Are you ready, Anna? With my little hands I go tap, tap, tap. With my little feet I go tap, tap, tap. With my little arms I wave bye, bye, bye. With my little legs I kick high, high, high. With my little eyes I say peekaboo. With my little lips I say I love you. Bye bye everybody, see you next week. Don't forget the number three.